Today, I decided to share with you some of the African beverages that we have here in Ghana. In the back, uh, we have my husband, uh, who is Ghanaian. Yes, he's the producer. He is Ghanaian, and he's going to tell me if I'm going to say something wrong. If he doesn't correct me, then it's on him. a couple of drinks there is not a place where you can buy all of them so it was kind of a hustle it's easy, but it's scattered. yes it's a scattered we have a kind of disagreement with my husband because he thinks some of the the things that i call drink are not drinks they are beverages you can also let me know whether you think they are drinks or beverages i don't need a dictionary exactly. i see what i can drink and what yeah, the first drink that we are going to try is asana am i saying it right asana. asana it is basically made of caramelized sugar and corn fermented corn so they leave the corn for three four days to get fermented then they use the water and then add the caramelized sugar and then they make a drink out of it and i decided uh, instead of a cup I use my calabash. Calabash is something that was traditionally used in Ghana. So like what I know is that in the past, all the drinks were drunk from the calabash in the past. And I think that's such a sustainable thing. It's just sad that people don't use it as often as before. So um, the reason why I'm, I'm showing you in this is because this is how it's been sold. Like I know it's not the prettiest packaging, but I, I have to show you how it is, right? This one is not as chilled as it was supposed to be. And you know, the good thing with it is that when you are outside and it's really hot, this thing can really cool you down. Do you like it? This one on bread was your Okay, um, if I want to give it from one to 10, I would probably give this four. It just makes you feel like it's too sugar, like you're drinking sugar. I don't know, maybe if I was a kid, I would have liked it more. <laughs> what should be the next one? Atajo milk. Atajo milk. Atajo milk. Atajo milk. Atajo milk. Atajo is tiger nuts. Atajo, that song. Atajo. Atajo. Atajo is it. Atajo is it. Atajo. And this one is? Atadre. That's Atadre. 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 This is the packaging of the Atadre. People from the streets. Usually, yeah. if, if you go to proper vendors, they, they have it in cups and stuff, but this one is bought it. Yeah, Mostly from the hood. It. Yes, from the hood. Uh, it's a sweet drink made out of this um, type of nut that is very common in Ghana called tiger nut. It is super sweet, actually. I think it's naturally sweet. Is it? I don't think they add sugar. You know, you can chew the nuts well, right? You can chew it. It helps, you know. This. Are you talking about the man thing? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Ghanaians what, believe uh, that it's very good for men because, like, men are going to be. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Same way that the uh, Ghanaians say that a tiger nut is going to make you more. Um, do you that say that? More. You say that sugar makes you less, right? Sugar makes you weak, it's true. Google it, for real. So, you are telling me that if a man has a lot of this, and another man has a lot of this, this man performs worse than this man in... <laughs> because, <laughs> oh no. my god! One scientific problem, you can... Scientific who? The best thing is to have this with uh, milk, but... I want to just have it raw like that. Can I do it like pure water? Yeah, of course. Anyhow. Hmm? Very, very thick. Yeah. Ah. Sweet, this right? is so good. It's like a warm sweet. So I would give it a 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay. Definitely. Next one, you can try Lamoji. Lamoji. Lamujin, yeah. Lamujin is the first time I'm trying it. How come I never tried it in the past three years? You never gave me. Well, it's not mine. 
Aha, so we only drink what is your favorite. What if I like something? Lamajin. Where is Lamajin from? They usually sold by the houses. So I don't know where. So you, it might be Nigerian? I don't know. I don't know. Because I haven't tried it. I haven't really done research about I have it. No idea, but it's usually sold by the Muslim communities. It consists of millet and spices. I love millet. Spicy, so be careful when opening. Does it have gas? Okay. So it consists of millets and then mm. um, smells really spices, good. Spices, ginger. It smells like a so type spices. of perfume. I knew I would like it. The moment that you say you don't like it, I knew I would like it. This is so good. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's spicy. Very spicy. But uh, not like it, really nice. I don't know whether it's because it's my first time trying it or it's really nice. No, 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 no. Are you just making up a song? No, it is a song. By it is actually a song. It has a lot of spices. I would say a lot of African spices. A lot of them. And it smells really good. One thing that I've also noticed in Ghana is that a lot of drinks have ginger. And in a way it's good, it's healthy, but like it burns until it goes on like you can feel where it's going yes. and i wonder like kids having it you know your kid yeah. how can i would give lamogin eight eight point five what is the next drink we are going to have next one sobolo <laughs> yeah <laughs> the next drink that i'm going to have is sobolo oh it's one of my favorite drinks in ghana i really love it and uh, there's a song. There's a song by Stoneboy. So polo. I like that one. It is a drink that I remember when the COVID first happened. It was a thing. Like everybody was saying, if you bring this, you won't get COVID. And I remember drinking it every day during the first lockdown. This drink is made out of uh, hibiscus, hibiscus leaves. And in, in my country, we also use hibiscus to make tea. We have like a warm drink with it. But in Ghana, it's a cold and sweet drink. So what they do, they add pineapple, they add ginger, and they kind of boil it and then um, let it sit and add ice and sugar to it. It depends who makes it because I've had really bad sobolos and I've had really good sobolos. So I, I remember one time I went to buy sobolo and the girl asked whether I want with ginger or without ginger and I said with ginger. <laughs> <laughs> that was the biggest mistake. <laughs> like ginger were coming out of my eyes. So let's try Sobolo. Oh, it smells really good. See, this is the type of Sobolo I like. I That's give it 10. 10 out of 10. I think it's not only from Ghana, it's West African. And I heard that it has really good... Um, uh, health benefits okay. yes blood pressure oh, so. yes I, that's what I, I have to say too like I think African drinks in general they have really good um, health benefits I have another question can we can we add alcohol to this drink like can you make sobolo alcoholic one I know is that we can you can add you can mix in this and palm oil no pa I'm talking about yes. the ones I just yeah. had like that's asana Asana, I don't know. Okay, next one is ice kenke. It's a drink. It's not a drink. It's a drink. You call it a drink. It's a drink. It's thick, so... It's ice kenke. Kenke is what? A food. You All eat right. kenke. I can make it soup, so... You call soup a drink. I can make soup. I actually haven't tried this before. See, you believe that? I haven't. I've done it here before. Tried it. That's the thing. That's a very I interesting thing here. I want to say. That my husband has made this a lot. And, you've tried and it. every time before I can try it, he finishes it. <laughs> That's why I have never tried it. So it's made of Fante Kenke. Fante Kenke is a type of starch food that we have it in Ghana. And it's like one of my favorite food to have. Really, it's really nice. It's made of fermented corn again. So basically, they mash it. They mash the kenke that is already fermented, it's like a dough, and then they add water and sugar to it. Ice kenke or mashed kenke? Mashed kenke. Or mashke? Say mashke. Mashke. Okay. okay, let's have some mashke. 
Why is very thick? <laughs> I'm sorry, no. That is a good thing. I didn't try it before. It's just that I love the food. I love Fanti Kinke. I love it as a food. You have you have it when you're hungry. You like you have it in between meals. It's when, like a snack. When you're really hungry, yeah. You know what does it feel like? It feels like adding sugar to pizza. <laughs> like, you know, you know, pizza is a food that you love, but not with sugar. Because of the love I have for Fanti Kinke, I cannot give this one a high rate. I would give it two. I'm sorry, but I would give Fanti Kinke ten. Are you serious? It's really not my. Seriously. Let's go for the last drink, which is? Burkina. Burkina. Or Burkina. Bur Burkina, not Burkina. 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 It's a, a drink that comes from the northern part of Ghana. So this is it. Uh, inside there is millet, one of the cereals um, that is found uh, actually around Africa. And one interesting thing about it is that it's very sustainable. So a lot of people believe that in future millet will be one of our main food. I don't know why we don't have it, let's say, in my country or other parts of the world as a common food. It's a very nutritious food. So basically what they do, they add it, uh, they let it soak. Then they will add like uh, milk, fresh milk. Uh, the taste is something like yogurt, it's sour. That's maybe why I like it very much. They sell it a lot at the traffic in Ghana. So that's something that I always remember from traffic. I'm very... You can have it as food. This is good. This is really good. So yeah, I don't call this one a drink because I I have it as food. I would give it nine. Yeah, nine because ten is for so people already. Right? Because we love it. So, so this was for the non-alcoholic drink. I and, will. And beverages and beverages so i will make another one for the alcoholic and let's see how that one will go in in general i really like all of them please let me know if you have these drinks in your country as well if you have tasted it before please write in the comment section again and tell me which one is your favorite i hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time Yo ven que mi amor, con mi anaca, guau, 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 gu